Freddie Freeman. That's going to be the man of the hour today as he is making his ranked season's debut for us. Let's look at his attributes. 111 contact versus right, contact versus left on 93, power versus right 95, power versus left in 82. All around, pretty good attributes. Now his vision at an 86, that's going to be the hard part because low vision does not translate well to Hall of Fame or Legend difficulties, but 86 should be good enough for Hall of Fame 100%. Now towards Legend, you need to have impeccable PCI placement for it to be really good for you. Now fielding at an 86 does not really matter for a first baseman, same thing as catcher fielding does not really matter and then last but not least you look at his speed and 46 speed is not bad not the greatest in the world but it's definitely takeable from a first baseman so what we're going to be rocking today for the starting lineup is going to be tony Gwynn to lead it off followed by willie mays followed by chipper jones followed by ken griffey jr rogers hornsby joe random then the man making his debut, Freddie Freeman. And last but not least, we have Honus Wagner. Now, if you end up enjoying today's content, make sure to hit that like button and red subscribe button before you leave. Let's aim for 15 likes and hit that subscribe button because if we get to 1,100 subscribers, we get 50 likes on the most recent pack opening episode we did. We will spend 300k stubs on the headliners packs. And I know y'all love to see me open packs. Now, let's hop into this ranked seasons game. So we're facing line now, good square. Davin G28. He has Clanton Kershaw on the mound. Definitely not what I want to see when I'm debuting Freddie Freeman, but hey, we got to do what we got to do. Now let's go out there and crush him. We could have dotted that up, but we didn't. Let's dot up that up, and it's going to be a base hit. Most likely going to be turning into a double. Has the possibilities of turning into a triple. Most likely going to be turning into a triple. He's going back to second base. Tried to backdoor him. Not exactly the 12-6 I wanted. Missed the location by a mile, to be honest with you all. Let's throw an inside fastball again. Hopefully, he doesn't turn on it. He gets jammed instead. Chipper Jones should be able to make the play, and we are out of this inning. Well, that wasn't hit extremely well, but we did put some good PCI placement on it as Chipper Jones hopefully has hit a solo shot. Hopefully. That didn't leave? You have to be kidding me. That hit off the top of the yellow. I thought it hit off the back and then just bounced in. Come on, don't throw me a fastball. I thought he had crushed that 100%, but it seems like we might have been a tad in front of it. As soon as he floats one up, it's basically GG's because they're going to hit a home run, no doubt about it, especially with someone like Frank Thomas. Hard hit, line drive, should be a double. Let's see if Tony Gwynn can help us out a little bit here. He's not going to have the arm strength there to gun him out. I'm not sure what his swing timing was, but it looked to be good. Just late. I'm fine with that. And I do want to set up a double play. So I'm not really going to be looking to give Arenado anything to hit. Going to throw a low slider. Didn't stay low. Should be able to get a double play here. Well, I don't know. Pudge's speed might be a little too much for us to get the double play. And it was... He's going to follow it off. I literally get myself into these counts by trying to pitch as, I want to say, dotty as possible. Because the way I pitch is, I try to dot pitches. I try to never give the opponent something good to hit. And I feel like that ends up biting me in the butt sometimes. So, let's do some damage with Rogers Honesby. Come on. That was a pitch right down the middle. It should land. Okay. That should be a double easily, though. Even though Willie Mays has probably one of the best arms, it should be a double. And that was a line drive. So if that wouldn't have landed, I would have been a little sad. I'm not going to lie to you all. I would have definitely been a little sad. I'm giving Joe Random the green light here with a 3-0 count. Maybe I shouldn't have given him the green light because I don't know. Good okay. All right, let's see how he attacks Freddie Freeman in his first at bat. Come on, Freddie. Freddie Freeman, lefty on lefty, no doubt, home run, holy cow, I'm gonna be honest with y'all, I saw his vision and I saw his contact versus left and power versus left, and I wasn't expecting that, but I said, holy cow, he did it, like, I'm still shocked, as we're late with Honus Wagner, man, I kid you not, I just, Honus Wagner was one of my best hitters, and all of a sudden, I just, I can't hit with him, it's the weirdest thing in the world. All right, it's time for Chipper Jones to do some damage, 100%. Chipper Jones, solo shot. Let's go, baby. I think that was a slider. He just crushed it. 
Freddie Freeman just turned on it, though. I knew what was coming. I knew he was trying to beat me with that 12-6 curveball since he got me swinging super early with Willie Mays. Like, I looked like a complete fool. But you want to see a good fight. That's a sinker. We turn on it. It should be caught, though. Ken Griffey Jr. is going to make the play. It was good squared up. Just the line out. But I'm happy with the production we have so far. I'm happy with the production we have so far from Kershaw. I'm happy with the production we've had so far from Freeman. And we're just looking to throw a shutout out because I need seven program stars or I get seven program stars. If I do end up getting a shutout, and I think this could honestly be the game as long as Kershaw is on his A game. And it needs to be a starting pitcher shutout. So we need to keep Kershaw in the entire game. We can't allow him to get too many pitches. But with 51 pitches, as the innings go on, it's, it's going to get a lot more difficult for him to be as perfect as he is in the early innings. He, he, he will be running, running out of stamina shortly. Or not surely. I say by the eighth inning, he'll probably run out of stamina. Throwing an inside slider here to Frank Thomas. He's going to hit a late bomb. Is it going to stay fair? That stayed fair? Holy cow. I'll be honest. I, I just can't stand it. Tony Gwynn. I love his fielding. I love everything about Tony Gwynn. I love his swing. I love his fielding. Everything. Sean Green was a monster in his debut. I plan on using him again. But for right now, we got to debut some other players. Got to have some fun with some other players. Let's go, Joe. Do some damage, Joe. Do what you do, Joe. Hits it right back up the middle. We're going to have Freddie Freeman hitting now. His second at bat after Joe Random singles. So Freddie Freeman is currently in the hole. 0-2 count fastball we got underneath it our swing timing i want to say it was there because i don't think we were late but we were definitely underneath it i have to say if anything just late good week i told you guys underneath it honus wagner let's do some damage i haven't been able to hit with you let's go we got a single hopefully that breaks him out of his little slump that he's been going through and that just allows us to start ripping with him 100 percent let's go that's all we needed from kershaw I think I was late. As a matter of fact, I don't think I was late. I know I was late. We're going to be able to drive in Honus Wagner 100%. 96 speed with all that base running aggressiveness should be able to get you home. It does. Kershaw did the job. He got us two runs. He helped himself out. And now Tony Gwynn is looking to do some damage. So we were late okay. I mean, I did ask for a bloop, if you guys do remember. And now Tony Gwynn, he's going to end up hitting a weak fly ball to center field. That was a change up. I thought it was a sinker, so I thought it was going to be a little bit higher. That's the only reason I swung up there. Great slider. Great slider. We just stayed looking. I thought it was a sinker. <laughs> That's my fault. That's a little unfortunate. And then take Kershaw out. So now he's going to warm up his bullpen. Hopefully he's bringing a righty because we got Chipper Jones, Ken Griffey Jr., then Joe Random. So we have switch hitter, lefty, switch hitter. So he might bring a lefty and not a righty, actually. I doubt he's going for two here. We're going to throw it to the cutoff, man. If he takes a big turn, then we already had it locked and loaded. If he had sat back and he crushed it, then I would have accepted it. Inside sinker, we're going to get him for the strikeout. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about, Kirsch. And I know for sure Willie Mays would be getting first base without a problem. Let's get an inside slinker. Slinker. <laughs> inside sinker. He was late on that. Maybe I was trying to say he was late and sinker at the same time, and then he got a base hit off of it. So this guy, he's been getting the benefit of the doubt in terms of swing timing and results. He's been getting a lot of late base hits. That wasn't late. I'll tell you that much. I doubt he's going to third for real. But if he was, I was ready to shoot him out, get him to ground out. Even though getting a double play with him is going to be extremely difficult, I would prefer it. Willie Mays, he can shoot him out at third base. Let's go. We got the perfect animation. He's going to go. Let's go, Willie. Let's go, Willie. Chipper Jones, you better attack that boy next time. Man, you over here giving Nolan Arenado a chance to do some damage. I, I ain't really messing with that. But he's laid in underneath it. We get to escape that inning without giving up a run. Very much needed. We need a short inning, although. We need a short inning bad. 2-2 two -two count now to Freddie Freeman. Come on. Let's go, baby. That slider, man. That slider caught me. That slider caught me. Not much more I can say. He absolutely crushes one. So he must have broken out of his slump when he hit that single. Now he hits a solo shot. We're balling. Let's go, baby. 
I'm afraid of this Jose Bautista. I'm afraid of any Jose Bautista just because of the swing he has. I mean, if you're expecting me to say something, I honestly had nothing to say. We had a shutout into the seventh. I said we need a shutout so bad. And then, you know, I'm talking about the guy I fear. And he turns on a fastball and absolutely demolishes it. So it's sad boy hours for us. Easy ground out. I can almost taste it. Great outside sinker. He's going to hit it the other way. Hopefully we gun him out. Come on, my Rogers Hornsby got gunned out on something like that. His should too, and not calling it a day. Give me a slider inside, call it a day. Dot that. Let's go, Kirsch. But let me, oh, he's going to have to continue pitching for me. Look at my bullpen. These guys are out of stamina. They're like, man, we've been pitching our butts off. Please give us a break. You guys are going to get a break. If Kershaw gives up two more runs, though, I'm sorry, but I can't afford to not take him out of the game that's gonna be a base hit chipper jones had a great stop there let's say screw it i also need a better lefty too oh almost tried to make a diving stop i was trying to go for second base i don't know why so maybe we don't leave kershaw in that's a bad pitch man if he would have hit a home run that would have been my fault completely i think we do take out kershaw now bro ken why do you take your time on that he can hit off of anybody if he hits an outside fastball, luckily for us, luckily for us, it was right at Ken. All right, that was definitely Kershaw's final inning, which is perfect. Let's go. Great cutter inside. Great cutter inside. Great cutter inside. How did I miss that knuckle curve? I was late. One, two, counter, Freddy. Bro, that pitch was right down the middle. I was under it again. You hate to see it. Good okay. I was just underneath it again. Come on, Honus. That's a cutter. Honus Wagner says, give me those two runs back. Two run home run. Second home run of the game. Honus Wagner turning it around for us. We're going to be bringing in Teddy Williams. Let's go, baby. I forgot I already had the bullpen warmed up. Let's go, Ted. Oh, man. I, I kid you not. That cutter is very deceiving. Like, on Legend Difficulties, he's probably a good card to use, even though not a lot of people use him since he only has a three-pitch arsenal. But he's probably dangerous. Let's throw an inside fastball. Missed the low. Get, get, get another late base hit. Come on. The game is basically over. It's 9-2. to two. Ken Griffey Jr. is going to hit a deep fly ball to Willie out of the game. Now, we debuted Freddie Freeman. The only card we have left to debut is Dale Murphy in terms of hitters. Then, of course, we have Newhauser or Matthewson, not Newhauser. We have Matthewson to debut, and we have AJ Burnett. Now, if you did end up enjoying today's content, make sure you guys hit that like button or subscribe button. Let's get this video to 15 likes, and let's get closer to 1,100 subscribers. Now, what I do have to say about this Freddie Freeman, if you want a little card review on him, is in terms of left-handers, he seems to have a very, very, very glitchy swing. Despite of his low vision, he has a very glitchy swing. And if you're able to square pitches up, I think he's going to be hitting home runs without a problem or lining out without a problem. As you guys saw, we were just underneath those pitches. We got good OKs and we flied out. I think Freddie Freeman is going to be a problem. If you love Freddie Freeman, you're an Atlanta Braves fan, or you're a Freddie Freeman fan, I think you could use him all the way up to Legend. On Legend, you might have to bring in Lou Gehrig, but he's 100% worth it if you ask me. Could have had a shutout with Kershaw, but unfortunately, Jose Bautista wanted to hit my shit gone. But anyways, hope you all enjoyed today's video. If you did, once again, make sure you hit that like button and red subscribe button. Have a blessed day and night, and as always, I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out.